Nearly a year after a pregnant woman was found dead in a Spartanburg lake, there has now been an arrest in her death. Two people who were walking found Bruce Wiles dead in Duncan Park last May. 7 News' Ben Hoover is live this evening outside the county detention center in Spartanburg with developments at the suspect's bond hearing. Ben, what have you found out? Tom Bond denied for this man, Tremaine Pierre Johnson. We learned that at his court here and here just a short time ago at the Spartanburg County Detention Center. This is the man who was arrested and charged with the murder of Bree Wiles earlier today. She was just a lively person. So each one of these photos just represents something. She probably just uh, a happy attitude that she was going through on one of those particular days. He didn't have a heart. So, but we want him to know that we here, we're going to stand up for Bree. That's Bree Wiles' stepmother, Shonda Foster, who says she showed up to Tremaine Pierre Johnson's bond hearing with a message for him. He needs to know what he took away. And for him to walk the streets knowing that he did something like this, knowing that he took a life. Foster spoke to 7 News outside the detention center soon before he had his bond denied, eight months after Wiles was found dead in Duncan Park Lake. She was pregnant at the time. Why did he take her life? I mean, uh, the baby would have been here uh, either last month or getting ready to come this month. So we would have had a new grandbaby. Solicitor Barry Barnett saying in court, investigators believe Wiles wanted to keep the baby and Johnson did not. We have been trying to keep it together, but every day we do cry because we miss her a lot. She was a big part of the family. And where her gone, it is a big piece missing. Police say they use statements, physical evidence, and electronic technology that led them to the arrest of Johnson. I jumped up and down, and I thank God because we have been praying constantly about this day. And today is the day. He's caught. We can we can finally we can finally continue with the good memories that we had with her and not concentrate on this bad part. In a statement earlier today, Spartanburg police asking for prayers for the family first and foremost, but also saying they are thankful for the many investigators who worked tirelessly over the last eight months on this investigation. For now, we're reporting live in Spartanburg County, Ben Hoover, 7 News. Ben, thank you for that. Johnson was arrested this morning during a traffic stop where police say he attempted to run but was captured shortly after.